Just through this red door at Ota Tofu, more than 100 years of Japanese tradition is at work. The tradition piece is uh, really important to, to really maintain this process, this high quality tofu. Jason Ogata is the proud owner of this local staple that to many is a hidden gem of the city. It's the oldest tofu house in the nation, making handmade Japanese tofu. I have people come in every single week saying that they don't make tofu like this anymore anywhere, and they can't find it anywhere. That's why they come here, to Ota Tofu, off the corner of Stark and Sandy in Southeast. It's a Portland institution, and so too is the Ota family, who opened up shop more than a century ago in 1911. So when Jason heard the Ota family wanted to sell the business, he didn't hesitate. And I thought, they cannot close these doors, right? Um, and I'd be honored to uh, take this over and uh, keep this tradition. Last March, the Otas passed the torch to the Ogatas, changing ownership, but not their methods or their staff. You can see here it's very labor intensive and we do it for a reason, because we think that it is um, the best way to make tofu and it makes it taste the best. Jason says that he didn't have really any experience making tofu before taking over, but the Ota family set him up for success, passing down their culinary customs. And they've really taught me every single step of the process um, so I can carry on this tradition. Skilled employees like Ka have been using these techniques for years. He meticulously makes their fried tofu every day. He flips every single one probably every like 30 seconds to a minute. Before you were up this morning, the process already started. We start with uh, non-GMO high quality soybeans. Those beans are soaked overnight, double filtered and, and grinded. We hand stir it. It's a time intensive sure process requiring years of experience. We mix it and we put it into our pressing boxes to press the curds. Most tofu makers have gone automated, producing tofu with the touch of a button, but not Ota. This process is different than any other tofu company um, around here, locally especially. Um, a lot of our competitors, they just make machine-made tofu where really they just, it's a very automated process. From soft to extra firm, Jason says they make about 3,000 pounds of tofu every day. And then this is our cooling tank and we let it cool. This packaged tofu goes to local markets it. and these buckets head off to more than 100 Portland restaurants. We caught up with Steve Wright picking up his batch for the Vertical Diner. Tofu made that morning to serve the same night. It's just so, it's such a better product. Any good restaurant in Portland right now that's selling a tofu dishes is using this product. The real stuff. Others stop by, Tupperware in hand, to get theirs. Yeah, once a week. This is, this is the best tofu there is. We encourage them, so they just bring their uh, Tupperware in and we uh, put the tofu blocks in their Tupperware and they go home and they put it in their fridge and enjoy it either that night or they can save it for the next couple days. In taking over the business, Jason is keeping traditions alive, but he also has a mission. I want as many people to eat tofu as possible. Tofu is very healthy. High protein, high calcium, um, high fiber based food. And the more people that eat it, I mean, the healthier people are. Ota tofu is a taste of tradition, and that's a responsibility Jason does not take lightly. He says it's an honor to continue this century old fixture in Portland cuisine. I'm very honored to take this on and feel huge responsibility to take this on and then also grow it to make sure that as many people enjoy this tofu as possible.